Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate and integrate in Home Assistant a two-way light switch circuit. To do this, I will use a Shelly dimmer. Although I'm a huge fan of uh, some of uh, mini uh, devices, um, those have uh, some limitations and uh, I will explain you later in the video why uh, I cannot use them. For those of you that don't know what a two-way light switch circuit is, I will demonstrate. This is not mine by some uh, piece of art. So, I have the, the light in my room and I have the light switch here on the wall. I can turn off the light from here, turn it on and then I have another light switch here which controls the same light in the room. Also, thanks to this device, I can do the following. Alexa, turn off light. Alexa, set light 20%. Alexa, set light 100%. Okay, we are diving into work, some coffee, of course, and uh, a fair warning. If you don't have at least minimum know-how about electrical current, please don't proceed with the installation by yourself. Please ask an electrician to do it for you. Here is a simple simulator of such a circuit. I have two light switches and a light bulb. If I press here the light will turn on and off and the same I can do from this uh, second light switch. Let's see next how such a circuit is built and how it works. As we can see we have the black wire which is the main uh, power line entering the first switch and from this switch we have two, uh, two brown wires going to the second switch and from the second switch a purple um, wire goes to the light bulb. As we can see in the bottom part of this uh, schema we have basically two parallel circuits that currently are open and any of uh, those two light switches are actually changing from one circuit to another. When both of the light switches are on the same circuit then the light is turned on. And I can do this from the left switch now I closed the bottom circuit from the left switch or I can do the same from the right light switch so closing the top circuit the same is true for the bottom circuit I hope now it's clear for you how such a circuit works. From the son of user manual, I have extracted the installation schema and as can be easily observed, between the two light switches we have three wires and not two. This is because the son of mini operates the trigger for the for the light switches at a low voltage of 3.3 volts and doesn't accept the uh, high voltages that uh, are powering the bulb. Basically this means to add an extra wire, the, the green wire as you can see in uh, this schema and uh, sometimes uh, this is completely not possible uh, in, uh, in your apartment. Therefore I uh, used an alternative of uh, the son of Mini, a dimmer from Shelley. 
Such devices operate with high voltage current on the light switch connectors. Therefore, as you can see in this example, you can connect the output wire from the light switch directly to any of the switch 1 or switch 2 connectors. Shelly dimmer 2 to pieces Wi-Fi dimmer. Good, let's go inside. Scan QR code to join our Facebook support group. And a user manual, a comprehensive one. Let's see what these beauties can do. I had only one possible place to install this uh, Shelly device and that was inside the junction box. It was easy for me to identify the wires and I tried to match the colors to what I found inside the junction box. As you can see we have the wire that came from the light switch and uh, powers on the bulb which is this purple one and then we have the black wire which is the power line and the blue wire which is the neutral line. Farther the maroon wires are the two circuits between the light switches. to the software setup of course it would have been much easier to install the Shelly application on your 
iOS or Android devices but because I don't want to use an extra application for these purposes I will show an alternative way on how to do it so once powered up the Shelly devices found a um, Wi-Fi network called Shelly Dimmer 2 dash and some hex numbers you will connect to that Wi-Fi network and once connected you will go to the following IP address in a web browser 192.168.33.1 here the Shelly firmware configuration is loaded and under internet and security you have the Wi-Fi mode client where you check on the connect the Shelly device to an existing Wi-Fi network and here you enter your network um, details like SSID and the password after that you click save and you need to find out from your router the IP address allocated to this device from the settings page make sure you set the button type to edge switch otherwise your wall switches will not work depending on what switch connector you've used on the Shelly dimmer you may be forced to check the swap inputs checkbox in order to make them work in home assistant we go to integrations and add integration here we search for Shelly and prompted to enter the host name you enter the IP address of the Shelly device you just added hmm. I hope you like this video if so please consider subscribing also clicking on the bell uh, to subscribe for notifications to be informed when I'm posting a new video click on the like button if you dislike the video yeah feel free to click on the dislike button but please do it twice just to be sure till next time